early we would have seen some some of the guests foreigner guests all over from all over the world they they like the scenery especially i i did it all all the scenery taken from egypt so some from egypt some from alexandria so it's it's you know it's something different for them and they see that we admire art and we you know this kind of of the new egypt and not or not only the old egypt that like do you think that the, uh, do you think this is going to uh, enhance and revive tourism it's going to uh, have tourists uh, take a different look at egypt yes i believe in this i believe in this i believe that that they are doing their best to do everything that that can uh, attract uh, tourists tourists <laughs> As an artist, uh, can you tell me your opinion of this exhibition from an artist's point of view? Okay, um, I think it's very successful. I really like the, the, the style of the paintings. Um, for me, I admired each painting for like two minutes each to actually take in the colors and how it's done and, and the, the texture and all of this. And um, each painting kind of gave me like a message, um, something that I interpreted on my own. Um, and uh, so, yeah, basically that's it. <laughs> how would you uh, rate a successful exhibition? I mean, how would you know that this is a good painting or do you think that it just varies uh, for different audience and different audience like different things? Uh, yeah, yeah, I definitely think it differs in from, 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 from person to person. I may think that this is like on a scale of one to 10 being 10, the most successful 10, but someone else could think it's a five. So I think it also dif differs each one's opinion. So, and uh, I know Amani uh, actually created this exhibition and wanted to show it here at a at a hotel in order to uh, revive tourism in an effort to kind of revive tourism and uh, in, um, encourage tourists to look at Egypt from a different perspective. How successful do you think this is going to be in in a kind of uh, inciting tourists to uh, look further into Egypt and its natural scenery? Um, I think that it sort of gives them like um, it, it's interesting it could be very interesting to them to see these kinds of paintings here and each one gives like a certain um, like a certain at atmosphere to it and it could make them want to go fight for example this one with a boat and the scenery and the river it could make them want to actually go and see this area this place and what it looks like realistically speaking so <laughs>
right now we're present at a very interesting exhibition. This exhibition gathers photos that were taken since 2012. They are covering political events, social events, also fashion and sports events. That's why it's really interesting and a lovely exhibition. Let's take a look, then we'll be back. So stay tuned. <laughs> As you just mentioned, this exhibition, it contains pictures from all over the world, uh, whether from Egypt, Bangladesh, or from different parts of the world. So you're participating not only as an Egyptian, but also you're participating with foreigners or foreign photo uh, photographers. Yeah. So I want to know how uh, does this, like, um, I think it's very beneficial for you at this critical period to like take from their experiences and uh, learn from them as well. They can take from your experience as well. Yeah, uh, so what did you benefit from this exhibition? Um, I'm very happy to be a part of this because uh, like as, as you said, it's, it's an exhibition from India, the States, uh, all around the world. the world. And there's a lot of, like all the pictures are so strong. All the pictures are very intimate and very professional. Mm -hmm. So to be a part of this, community of photographers let's say and this amazing work it's it, I can't describe it it's so good like I'm so happy that one of my pictures are being selected here and uh, hopefully it w this exhibition will be seen by many people and and hopefully this will send a message to someone so Ahmed, I want to talk also about the challenges you face while taking these pictures. Mm. Of course, as a photographer, you want to reflect every single moment here in Egypt, whether uh, it's being a political thing, social, sports, whatever. But talking about the political events, especially this here in Egypt, things are not stable now. Mm. So tell me more about the challenges you face. Uh, like regarding photography? Or while photography I'm and covering yeah, events. the problem now is like photographers are main targets for both sides, so you, you can't hide. <laughs> Once you have a camera, you're uh, spotted. Like everyone wants you because you're taking pictures, whether you're with or against, it doesn't matter. So it's, it's riskier every day for photographers. Plus we don't have uh, like vests or good <laughs> helmets. No, and now it's, it's not only shotguns or no it's it's live ammo so it's not fun so you can die at any second and like i have friends that uh, lost their eyes and people wounded and a lot of very good photographers got like had broken legs and they uh, had bullets in their legs and everything so it's it's very risky but it's important at the same time for me i don't really cover news i'm more into features and aftermath like I go there after, 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 yes, and I go there like really early morning and try to take pictures of the aftermath and the chaos and everything when it's over, which is more emotional, let's say. Yeah, it's those l seconds just before people die. It's those, uh, like no one has come to the place yet. So I'm the first one to come on the uh, second day and I'm taking pictures like this one, this, uh, this picture. Atrabal Adawiyah. Atrabal Adawiyah and it was like 6 a.m. in the morning, 6.30. There was n no one there. It was still smoke and it, it, you can feel the heat. You were sweating inside because it was still burning. And there was a, everyone like those outsiders let's say they came for the first time so they saw this and uh, like for instance those pictures is for one of the best Egyptian photographers he's a very young guy he's he's super good he's called Mosab Shemi Mosab uh, 
is a freelancer also? The story behind this picture. It's